We're here today at Flagship HQ with Brad Longcar, who you may have seen interviewing leaders across biotech, including our very own Nubar Afayan, founder and CEO. Today, we're turning the tables on Brad as I, Liz Pavone, manager of content and science communications, subsumes his role minus the stylish suit and Midwestern accent. So Brad, welcome. Thank you. I'll loan you one of my ties uh, for the next time. I could use it, I don't have many. <laughs> So your Twitter bio describes you as a biotech enthusiast. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Yeah, so that's actually a new term. Until like a month ago when I launched this, it said biotech investor. So I'd run a small investment firm. Like I had a couple of ETFs that I created. And so I've, that's kind of the lens that I've been viewing biotech through over the last 10 or so years. And I've always been a big social media person. Like I started tweeting, I'm embarrassed to say how long ago. Um, and I've always enjoyed experimenting on social media. And I started doing videos pretty much when Twitter you know, offered it. Um, and so I go to conferences and do videos and the reaction was always huge. Like I did one with Nubar right here about a year ago. It was like June of, uh, of last year. I recall. Like, I think it had like 20,000 views on Twitter alone, probably had just as many on LinkedIn. And so I would do things like that. And I would say like those numbers, there's like, this is an unmet need. And so, um, you know, my investment business, like biotech hasn't been so hot, that it, at least from a stock market perspective, the last couple of years wasn't going anywhere. And, um, on you know, the other hand, I'd been doing these videos that people have been enjoying and you know, learning from and everything. And I just said, like, what's the biggest impact that I can have on like bi life and our biotech ecosystem? And it's doing this. And so I turned what was essentially a hobby into an actual business. And I launched that on June 1st. That's awesome. So how do you hope that it will progress and evolve? Well, so with something like this that's so new um like i have a vision like i i you know i have idea what i like it to be in a few years but i've also um done like been an entrepreneur and done enough things in business and on the internet and social media to know that it's going to go in its own direction so like for example i'm right now i'm kind of a one-man show and i'm here in boston like putting up as much content as i can and like, I am hoping this summer to just do like a million videos that are all different, like news, cool science, talking to cool people. And I don't know what direction it's gonna go. Some things are gonna work and some things aren't, and it'll take on a life of its own. And the only way to make that happen is just to be experimental and you know try new things. And um, that's what I'm here to do this summer. True to our ethos and, and science, being experimental. That's right, exactly. So while you've done this transition from investor to communicator, what, what have you learned? I, I think, I mean, one thing that's important that I try to do, um, one thing that people might not know about me is I don't have a science background. Like I've always been a science nerd, but I'm a finance person. Like my degree in college was in finance and, and, in, and in business. And I think one thing that's really important in our industry as a communicator is this is very complicated technical stuff. And I think all of us have a responsibility to try to communicate it in a way that anyone can understand. So like, I always think like, I know that like my mom is like watching all of my videos like a hawk and I wanna make sure that she can understand what we're talking about. Um, so. I think that's it's really important to have like the broadest audience possible um that you have to like it's really important to take highly technical things and in, explain them in, in ways that people can understand and i actually always said as an investor too like if i was sitting across the table like listening to a company speak it's always like the simplest ideas that actually end up working. Like think of Moderna that, you mm -hmm. know, came out of flagship, of course, mRNA, that's like the dogma of life. It's like DNA, you know, mRNA protein, like, you know, human. Um, it's a very technical, challenging thing, but it can be explained very simply. Mm -hmm. And I've always believed that those are the things that work. And so I think as a communicator, you've got to try to explain things in, in a simple way. 
reach the biggest possible audience. Yep, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Well, Brad, thanks so much for being here. Best wishes with Biotech TV. I hope it all the best. Thank you. So that's, I'll give my pitch. It's biotechtv.com. We're on every social media channel you can imagine, Twitter, LinkedIn. Like we, we even have like a TikTok and Instagram account. So if you're on social media, um, no matter who you are and where you are, uh, you can find us. So I hope everyone out there enjoys it. We're going to put up a lot of great things this summer, and we'll see where it goes. It's going to be fun. Awesome. Thanks.